Welcome to the final video about all my winter and Christmas pictures. Today we will have a lot of cute animals and also winter fairy tales. I decided that we will start from pictures which I printed and colored. Here I have famous advent calendar by Johanna Passford. And you can see that despite the fact that it was published more than two years ago, I still hadn't finished it. That's probably all you need to know about my ability to color pictures by Johanna. I did enjoy doing them, but um, I discovered that even with such tiny size, you spend a relatively big amount of time doing such a small page. And it's um, maybe it was a pity to lose this time when I could do bigger picture in my books. Also, I decided to print my pictures on this toned uh, light gray paper and it's really helpful, especially when you do winter pictures. If your paper is toned, it's much easier to do snow, so sn snowmen and all those winter landscapes. They look much better when your white pencil creates good contrast to the color of the paper. But at the same time I had problem with blending on this paper to get nice smooth coverage. I mostly colored with Prisma colors, but with small size of the page and very soft Prisma color pencil, some of the pictures they look slightly untidy. And maybe I simply ran out of the ideas for the background. You can see that I really tried to make different backgrounds somewhere. So uh, even after two years, I didn't, I haven't managed to finish this um, calendar. Maybe this year, one day I will have huge wave of inspiration. I will do these two one and a half remaining pictures, and finally I will have my calendar finished. Next we have pictures by Tatiana Bagema. When I discovered that Tatiana's books are printed on Amazon paper, I decided that maybe it's better for me to purchase them as PDF files and to print them myself. Some of them I printed on white paper and one I printed on toned paper. So what I have here I have this uh, mouse creating wish list for the Christmas presents. I really love this one. And um, I think that I mostly used Prisma colors here. It's an average paper named like paper for drawing by Ukrainian manufacturer, nothing special, but it works relatively well both with cheap pencils like Arteza or Sucolor and with more professional pencils like Prismacolors or Polychromoses. So the first one, the second one, which is also my favorite and I hope that this year I will do a, a, a similar page from the same book. There are two pictures. One is with packing uh, toys, packing presents and one near the fireplace. So I hope that I will add more finished pictures to this book. As usual, you know that I love to color metals, especially gold. And here it was quite fun to try to and to do various baked goods in slightly different colors. I think that here I have mix of Arteza. I definitely can recognize wine red Arteza for the background. And I don't remember what, but I will leave you a link to my Tatiana Bagema playlist here on YouTube. So if you need it, you will be able to check it. And those gnomes, they are absolute. Oh, maybe they are Christmas elves. They are adorable, all characters in this book. Next, I have this factory of ice cream. Another good one, but I remember that I struggled with this background and I'm still not sure that such in bright blue-green was the right choice. But at least inner parts where we can see a lower part of the elevator with ice cream. Oh, it's a refrigerator probably, elevator somewhere, he ah, elevator we have here. And here we have 
machine for blending uh, ice cream. It was quite fun to color. I think that here I used even markers trying to work with the background. Again, this one I did because I love everything connected to the figure skating. So when I have skating mice, of course I wanted to do them. Um, I guess that here I used Arteza mostly. It may be uh, some of the pastel colors like... Um, I think that I did it also when I received Castle Art pastel tin pencils. Another one, a very cute image with mice. And still, some of them struggle with the background because sometimes for the bigger areas it's not very easy to work on this paper. But some other elements I do love. They are so positive and um, they are not boring to color because you have many various things like clothes of the mouse, a lot of um, food, uh, Christmas decorations, so many things and you never will be bored from the page. Another one where I decided that I won't be adding any background, that it can be nice even on the white background, contrast is better and you can see all the yummy things which we have around this Christmas stocking. And if you need this one, they all are available in the playlist on my channel. This is the one I printed on the light grey toned paper, mostly because again I wanted my uh, snow to be more visible and I think it worked, but um, in the same time pastel uh, shades of Prisma colors, they started to look amazingly well on this paper, but they layer and blend slightly uh, with more complications, you need more layers or you need blender. So I simply spent a bigger amount of time when I colored on the toned paper. But sometimes it's really nice and refreshing. I would say that when you color on the toned paper, it's different experience comparing to when you color on the white paper. Especially when you print yourself, you can make black lines lighter by changing settings of your printer and your picture also will look more like painting. Anyway, that's where all my printed pictures. And now we are moving to winter fairy tales. Here I managed to adjust all my books. So uh, in fairy tales I have one winter picture and I am ashamed, ashamed to say, but when I get, got this book and when I decided to do this page, I wasn't aware of the fairy tale East of the Sun and West of the Moon. So first I went and I read the story. Yeah, somehow in my childhood I didn't read it. So um, I decided that here I can test uh, how Arteza worked on this paper. I think that I did it not long after I purchased Arteza set, so I was curious. And Arteza I mostly used here on the sky, but for the white fur of the bear and on the snow I used my lovely Prismacolor pencils. For me they are easiest when I need to color snow. I think that for the girl I also used uh, Arteza pencils. I didn't know which color to use for her clothes because she have to be slightly weathered, uh, all this fabric slightly uh, lost color after all her travels. So that's why I decided that those Caput Mortum reddish brown colors they can work and they create good contrast to all those blue, violet, blue green colors which I used for the background. Next one, it's maybe not fairy tale, but it's a book which mostly tells us about winter time. It's called Winter Rose. It's orig original art by Kanoko Yaguza for the cover of the book. I hadn't read the book, I simply mm, 
read about the main plot of the story. And I tried to do at least something by myself, not to copy completely original art by Kanoka. Traditionally, I tried to work on the contrast between pastel colors and something intense, bright and strong like I did here, and on the contrast between cold and warm colors like cold blue color of the sky behind the girl and her golden jewelry and relatively um, warm uh, peach pink color of her skin. The most challenging was how to show this strange transition from the birch tree into her head and neck and part of her. Uh, it already created some kind of color around her face, so that was a little bit tricky, but I think that I managed to do it okay. Now when I look at this page, I feel such a pity that I hadn't touched this book for a year. <sighs> I don't know how to resolve this problem that I love all my books and I absolutely can't color in all of them. I'm not sad regarding this fact, because even in black and white they are gorgeous, but I can imagine how much pleasure I can get coloring in them, but my time is so limited. And we are moving to another winter story, here we have Baker's Dozen one of my few grayscale books and here I would say that color it's totally unnecessary because it's absolutely gorgeous in black and white images they are amazing one of the best illustrations if I would need children's book then I would love to have all books illustrated by this artist Wendy Edelson is extremely talented so here I decided that, well, I will try to do one page, but I was really afraid that with my colors they will look like more cheap comparing to the beautiful black and over gray grayscale pictures. I can say that I don't like um, grayscale. They are interesting, they are easy to color and you need to learn some tricks, especially when you color uh, light areas. Here I have this a white shirt and skin also but well maybe I love challenges which we have with line art when you need to decide by yourself about highlights and shadows so you know that I mostly do line art pictures but still this art it's amazing and I'm happy that I have in my collection at least something by Wendy Edelson Another very traditional Christmas fairy tale is, of course, Nutcracker. And my Nutcracker I have in this uh, Tomoka Tashira fairy tales, where everything is okay apart from my struggle with paper. Paper is mm, quite smooth, and at the same time, I didn't manage. To work on it with watercolors, which would be quite helpful for these huge backgrounds. So I had to do backgrounds with pencils. And I have no idea why on this smooth paper I decided to use Derwent color softs. Color softs, they require more toothy paper. <laughs> on the glossy paper like this one, they are terrible. They create a waxy, shining and all pencil strokes, they are terribly visible. I hope that on the screen it's not so awful, but when I look at it, especially under electric light, I can clearly see all those waxy <laughs> passes, waxy um, strokes of color soft pencils. And, well, it's huge. Mostly I started it because I do love the right side. Here we have theater scene and we have some decoration for two parts of the story. I decided that if we have not a real um, Christmas tree but it's decoration I can do it more flat, not bothering myself with all those deep shadows or texture of the needles on the branches. Instead I again tried to concentrate all the attention to the girl and prince 
finished so I think that I managed to do nice and beautiful dress is her name Marie in the original fairy tale anyway <laughs> in the end uh, when I did this one and somehow I decided that it would look much better if you finish the whole spread yeah I did those curtains but I can't say that I enjoyed doing all those um, toy soldiers Mm, not so fun, but at least the Nutcracker and the Red King, they are fun to do. This cake, I don't know why I selected these colors. I, I remember, I wanted to use uh, matching colors, like here we have clearly the transition uh, from Nutcracker to the Prince, so I used similar color for their coat to show that it's the same character. And then reminding colors which I had to um, use to make connection between two parts similar colors on her dress and on the cake well in the end everything worked but I remember how tired I was when I finished the spread I'm not sure if I managed to do something this year in this book maybe we have loveliest pictures here but I haven't decided yet how to color this reverse pictures Next winter pictures I have in Game of Thrones. Sorry guys, I dropped something. So Game of Thrones. And here I have the first one. I think that it was one of my first successful attempts to do snow with and shade shadows on the snow with watercolors. I remember how I blended, added water, trying to dilute them. So this made almost completely with watercolors. I think that if I added some pencil, maybe just even not on the fur, maybe just on the coat here, I added a little bit of pencil because I wasn't happy with shadow. I wanted to make it darker. And apart from this area, everything else was colored with watercolors. The second one, it's a mix of light watercolor layer for the uh, sky mostly, but maybe a little bit for the uh, stones. But mostly I used polychromous pencils and I'm extremely proud of this one. I still look at this and I think that I put everything I learned, everything I... Uh, imagined in my head about this uh, scene, about this winter place, so I tried to did my best. I tried to again to use some highlights from the lanterns, from the fire, from here and here, again to have the, a little bit of highlights on the fur, on top of the wolf and along the um, right side of her coat. I do love to create such highlights on the winter pictures, they create more interesting look. So this one is definitely one of my favorite works and I absolutely love it. Now let's have a look at winter pictures in Kanaka Yugusa. I hope that we will manage to go inside of the screen. Yeah. I think almost. I started my path of coloring animals in Kanoka Yugusa books because they had very convenient texture on the animals and I did together my first animals in Rhapsody and in Manuet and both were winter pictures. Here I did those reindeers. I decided that I will use the most traditional Christmas color combo of red, gold and green. It worked well, but at the moment when I did this page I think that 
hundreds of colorists did the same page and the most challenging part was to select at least some unique color combo for the background for this beautiful northern pattern around the main image so i decided that i can use a beautiful light green aquamarine uh, indigo colors from prisma color set and i think that it worked nice together with the central part of the page this one I colored like a Victorian era Christmas, uh, again trying to find something apart from red and gold, so my background made in more pastel shades. Everything I do in this book I mostly do with Prisma colors, so I think that you can recognize all the great lavender clay rolls on the background here. And both they are in this purple color because it was invented during Victorian time. The pigment was uh, discovered and it was extremely expensive. So only the most richest families um, they can purchase dresses made from the fabric colors in this zone. So I, <laughs> after I saw the documentary about this curious fact, I decided that I can put it into my page. And I have this huge spread. I spent a couple of months moving from the left to the right, uh, struggling with some of the areas like this light halos around, around the lamps and lanterns. But of course, corgis, I wanted to color them so much. And it was fun to work on the highlights on the, on the church, on the uh, snow surrounding church, church walls. And I do love these flowers, they are very beautiful. One of the few flowers which we can find during the winter time. Amount of candles was definitely excessive for me. And I'm still not happy how I did this central part. I don't remember. I think that I ran out of my indigo pencil from Prisma Color, And you can imagine how it's complicated to find a replacement when I live in Ukraine. So here I used indigo from Dermot Color Source and it didn't want to lay on this paper. Anyway, still I'm happy that I finished it. Maybe now I wouldn't even dare to start such a huge project. And in Menuet I did this mm, Christmas shopping. I imagine that this very elegant cat went to look at some Christmas presents, maybe to purchase for her friends, maybe to find something for herself. And I think that the most challenging part was not to use all 150 Prisma colors for various objects on the shelves. At least I tried to divide them into several color groups and to use similar colors here, here. I can't say that I managed to do it, but at least when I used a very intense purple and blue for the cat, she immediately turned into the focal point, so she is not lost even with such a detailed and colorful background. And to show that we have this time before Christmas winter picture, I sprinkled everything with white paint, which I usually do to imitate falling snow. And my cute chipmunks, chipmunks, <laughs> sorry guys, I forgot. So that was my first ever attempt to do animals and it was successful because Kanoko conveniently did texture instead of me. I simply followed her example, direction of the fur grows and how long fur have to be. And and here definitely the most traditional Christmas time. Christmas colors with blue background, very bright poinsettia flowers. Oh, I need to put this picture um, somewhere and to practice how to do so, such a beautiful uh, snowflakes. When I want to add snowflakes with white Posca somewhere, I always struggle with the beautiful shapes of them. Here we have a lot of nice examples. I need to copy to practice. And the final picture will be in a romantic country, second tail. And here again we have nutcrackers. Let me show it in the 
in full beauty. Well, that's it. Some of the elements here was very fun to color, like those trees, grass, nutcrackers, of course, and the reindeer. Some parts were a little bit more boring because <laughs> before I started to do more interesting parts, I did all those windows, arches, columns, uh, central portal. I deliberately tried to uh, select all cold shades cool gray, uh, gray-green uh, color for the leaves and in such a way I try to uh, make background less intense and all attention goes to the much brighter uh, pine trees, Christmas trees. I also added additional decorations because they look a little bit sparse decorated for my taste so I added something and for the Nutcrackers, I decided that the best classical color combo of golden, red and blue, it always worked quite well. So, it was long work, but I think that I did exactly what I imagined, what I wanted to do, so I am proud of this work. And I think that it's a nice, inspiring picture for me to look and to finally start doing this year Christmas and winter pictures. I hope that you also enjoyed some of these works and I hope that you also start to feel a little bit of festive mood. So let's start to do winter pictures.